Hi guys, Sussex EDC here. Today I'm going to do a very quick overview of a new knife I've purchased, which is this Victorinox Super Tinker. Uh, the reason why I've purchased this knife is, as you may have seen in my first video, um, I generally carry a pouch and, and a knife uh, for my EDC carry, but I figured that during the summer months, I'd like to wear um, shorts uh, and some uh, and carry some EDC items that would actually be a little bit lighter. Uh, overall. So what I'm thinking of doing instead of carrying a range of tools is to carry this multi-tool and then to probably carry an Olight torch, some Nipex pliers, maybe a pry bar of some kind and then obviously just have this little suspension clip for the um, for the knife. But this way it's uh, still covering all of the bases but just carrying uh, slightly less gear overall. So let's have a very quick look at this. It's a, it's a lovely little knife, uh, we, as we've uh, all come to know and love really. It's got the, the red Celador scales with the Victorinox shield. Um, we'll have a very quick run through of what's on offer. So here we have a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, this is instead of the corkscrew and I think it's actually uh, an improvement to be honest with you. We don't often use a corkscrew these days. Uh, we have a small hole here which you can put a pin into. So I may purchase that and add that to it. Then here we have the parcel hook. Some people say this is not very uh, useful uh, in modern society, uh, but uh, Felix Himmler has done a recent video showing many uses, I think about 10 uses for this. And after watching that, I realized this is more versatile than it would first seem. Uh, so it's a good little, good little tool. And then here we have a reamer and the all with the hole in it so you can punch through leather and do some uh, some coarse uh, sewing. Then we have the obligatory toothpick and tweezers. And then on the other side here we have a slotted screwdriver with a bottle opener and the wire stripper aperture at the bottom. And then we have here a uh, can opener um, and with a smaller slotted screwdriver. This this can actually be used in a number two Phillips slot, but that's slightly redundant with the uh, screwdriver on the back. And this bladed edge is always good for uh, scraping tasks. Very definite click and closure on all of these uh, tools, as you may hear. Then what we have is a decent set of scissors. Good size, very definite again. Uh, Victronix always do make very good scissors, uh, scissors on their knives. And then we will have a small pen blade, which you can use for opening parcels uh, and just small tasks. And then a the larger blade. Uh, this is made in their proprietary steel. I think I may have mentioned that before. Uh, we have the Officer Swiss Tang Stamp. And it's a it's a very uh, very serviceable and, and usable knife shape. Um, won't close down on you without uh, wishing to close it. There's no half stop on this. I mean, I'm closing it to that half position to show you, but there's no actual definite half stop. So just have to make sure you get your hands well out of the way before you close it. Uh, but that's common with with all Victorinox. And yeah, that's a that's a a nice looking knife that. Um, I was thinking, you know, if you didn't want to carry a pry tool, you could maybe get away with using the screwdriver edge as a prying tool. You'd have to be very careful so you don't deform the liners in any way. Um, but that, that is an option if as long as you supported it. Um, but if not, you know, if you didn't wish to do this, like I say, you, you could take a, a dedicated pry tool with you as well. So we'll just take some, some measurements. So looking at the weight, it's about 84 grams, about 2.97 ounces, so it's not excessive. And for the length of this closed, we have about 91, 92 uh, millimeters, just over nine centimeters, and it's just over two centimeters at its widest point, about an inch just under under two centimeters um 
yeah it's, it's, it's a good little size I mean I think I mentioned uh, I like to put them on a suspension clip um, that's one thing lacking for me with a Victorinox is, is a pocket clip uh, but this is easy to attach especially with the key ring and then what I'll also show you is just a, a pair of jeans so in the fifth pocket you know it pokes out a little bit at the top there uh, but that's not a problem and then with the suspension clip you know it's going to drop right into the pocket there and you're not going to see that at all I mean part of the reason why I like the Victorinox in general uh, one it's UK legal uh, and two it's it's quite a non-threatening looking knife I mean you could pull this out and cut an apple in a cafe or you know cut a piece of fruit or whatever um, you know whatever task you may be using it for and people aren't going to be threatened by that um, it, it's a nice little looking knife and then the quality of them is is renowned and, and, and rightly so so it's a nice little knife um, I, I think you know like I say with these multi tools um, and with a pry bar a torch and the, and the uh, pliers you've got a good uh, everyday carry solution there um, if you don't wish to buy more I mean uh, obviously some of us are, are into EDC in general and, and like all the various little gadgets and tools we can carry if you just want an everyday solution I think you can't really go wrong with this um, there is a Victorinox Super Tinker Deluxe which has pliers included um, I was just a little bit concerned they weren't going to be strong enough and uh, with the inclusion of the Nipex um, you know they're going to be a little bit stronger a bit more durable and um, should cover most bases so I think what you have here is a very decent um, lightweight everyday solution um, so I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video soon. Thanks a lot, guys.